listen, there is no downtown Seymour, okay? So if you're looking for a quaint little downtown place, that is not it. Seymour is for you if you want more rural or you want more rural and you want to be like in the center of Maryville, downtown Knoxville and Sevierville. That is where you would come for. There's also great mountain views, but it, there's not a Target here. There's not a Home Goods. There's not an Ulta. We have a Kroger. It's not my favorite, okay? Um, great people, but not a ton of stuff to do. This is not the place you come if you're like, you want a big nightlife. No, that is not what this is. So, so we got that out of the way. Let's go exploring. Okay, so excuse the way I look. I hope the sound is okay. I don't have my mic, but I just wanted to show you this is what people are talking about when they're talking about see the views and see more. So obviously like straight ahead of me that's Bluff Mountain, but that's all smoky. So when people talk about the views and see more, like it's about eight o'clock on a Saturday morning in November, it's gorgeous. Can you guess where we are? Seymour! We're actually, right now where I'm standing is Knox County, although there's a Knox County sign right down there. So there's a Knox County sign right there. So technically where that green sign is, Seymour, Knoxville. And if you see that light right down there, just at that light is where it says Blunt County. And then if you go like 100 more feet, it says Sevier County. So first takeaway about Seymour is, first of all, it's confused. You've got Knox, Blunt, and Sevier all together in one little thing. And what you see right here, this is Chapman Highway, okay? So Chapman Highway, if I go towards Knox County and I go 20 minutes by car, I will be downtown. If I go 20 minutes that way, so that's like basically heading east, northeast? I don't know. If I go towards Sevierville, I'm 20 minutes away. And actually, I could go Sevierville that way to Kodak, or if I go south, I'm gonna hit Maryville in 20 minutes. So you're basically 20 minutes to downtown Knoxville, 20 minutes to Sevierville, 20 minutes to Maryville, and like, 40 minutes to Gatlinburg. You could hit the 407 exit. So the 407 exit, that's the exit you take from I-40 to get to um, like Sevier Old Pigeon Forge to get to Dollywood from I-40. You are about 20-ish uh, minutes, give or take. And then also note from a lake's perspective, I almost fell. Um, could you tell? I don't know, I bobbled. By the way, fireworks, that's where you get your fireworks. There's a couple other places where people just come park their little trailer, their big trailers, and they sell the fireworks. But what I was saying is that uh, as far as bodies of water, so downtown Tennessee, I mean, downtown Knoxville has Tennessee River. So you're 20 minutes from that. And then Douglas Lake, that's Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, Dandridge area. We had a camper on the other side of Douglas from where we are now, and that was about 40 minutes. But if you just go straight to Douglas from like closest point, you're about 20, 25 minutes, so not bad at all. So, as you can see, Chapman Highway is like the major road that is going through Seymour. Okay, so we are standing at the corner of Chapman Highway and Burnett Station Road. Burnett Station goes that way, Chapman Highway right here. If we were to turn and go this way, that'd be going like towards Board Boyd's Creek. So. This intersection is interesting because like sometimes people wreck there, wreck at this intersection. Sometimes people don't come because it's like, no, it's blunt, no, it's severe, no, it's Knox. So just kind of know that about this intersection, um, which doesn't sound very positive, but I just want to be real with you, okay? Um, and I also want to point out that you see there's a street sign that says Burnett Station. There's a green sign that says Burnett Station. Just after that is Blount County. So that's Blount County line. I guess, even though like my house is on this side of that and I'm technically Blount County. So anyways, Seymour intersection. You can tell that this is more like 
more rural in the sense like if we compare this to Farragut, there's way less stuff going on. But we're gonna drive around and I'm gonna take you to basically, I'm gonna take you down Chapman Highway, we're gonna check some stuff out. So let's go see. Okay, so I just wanna show you this because I think it's funny. But okay, so we have uh, Roberson's, which used to be Parton's Barbecue. It was Parton's Barbecue for years and years and years. But Roberson's and then we have Archer's. So Archer's is a bigger chain in the Knoxville area. And to me, it was kind of a huge deal that they came here because I feel like there are not a ton of food options. But interestingly, both of these restaurants have barbecue. So they both are barbecue restaurants. And then below Archer's is actually a pizza place. It's called Bullseye. It opened earlier this year in 2022. So not a ton of food options, but actually I can walk to both these places from my house. So it's pretty legit, but it's not like you're gonna have gourmet eating, you feel me? So you can tell just some shopping, but it's not like it's new. It's not like it's, you know, fancy, any of that stuff. Okay, so we've gone through one light that was technically, that was technically, or it is Seymour, as I should say. And the Blount County line's there, and then now we are at Sevier County, which I think is funny because there was a Welcome to Seymour sign already, and now we have the official Welcome to Seymour sign. And notice it says, gorgeous views and great people. I would agree. I feel like maybe in this video, you might be like, Haley, you hate Seymour. I'm gonna tell you that I grew up in Knoxville and never even heard of Seymour before. It actually drove me it because we, we took Chapman Highway, which is this road right here, to get to Dollywood. I didn't even know Seymour existed. Uh, so full disclosure, now I've been living in Seymour about, I don't know, six years or so. And um, like, it's cool. It is great views and it actually is super convenient, like I said, to get to downtown Sevierville, Maryville. But in terms of like stuff to do, shopping, eating, it's not the place I do any of those things. Uh, and then like you can just see behind me, for example, like both of these have been, well, that's a glass uh, car auto shop, Jerry's. Um, I think it's Jerry's Auto Glass and he can replace your windshield. I've used him before, he's awesome. That's a whole other story, not the point of this video. But you can see that like there's been attempts for boutiques to come in and they just have not had great success. Part of it is just probably there's just not the um, right amount of people. Uh, but also this is not like, it's not a Mecca for shopping or anything like that. So anyhow, welcome to Seymour. Gorgeous views, great people. Okay, so now we're gonna drive from basically the main part, the main drag of Seymour. So essentially that first light that I've shown you, and we're gonna go all the way to the next light. I think there might be like three stoplights, even though like Seymour is more than that, but in terms of like, you know, central stoplights, we're just kind of making our way down. This is a 1783 eatery. It's supposed to be opening soon. It's been closed. I'm hoping it's gonna be great. You've got Dollar General Market. I mean, you can just tell this is not like a lot going on, even though there are businesses, you know, smaller businesses and stuff like that. So in terms of like grocery shopping and where I grocery shop, it is coming up onto the right, this shopping center here. And actually there's a place in there called 10 Nails, which is like where I get my nails done. Actually, let's turn in. Let's go in and take a look. There is a Zippy Prints, which is a, a local printer. They do a great job. Oh, come on, person. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I wanna show you. Like, this is where I spend most of my time. Um, like, if I need groceries, this is where I come. That pharmacy is pretty good. Um, there used to be a coffee shop right there, but I think they closed permanently. But anyhow, so 10 Nails, that's where I get my nails done. Hello, 10 Nails. Hey, Linda. Um, those are my people. They have a really cool story about being in Seymour. They've been here a long time. Okay, so this is the place I spend most of my time in Seymour. Like when I'm going to go grocery shopping, I go to this Kroger right here. And then actually my nail place, 10 Nails right there so this is probably with the exception of the gym that i'm going to show you this is also like where i spend my time if i'm going to hang out it's not even hanging out it's like if i need to go to the grocery store this is where i come and then when i get my nails done i come here every two weeks and i see linda so yeah shout out to 10 nails they're awesome and we are continuing on our video tour of seymour 
we uh, have about another three minutes down Chapman Highway and then I'm gonna take you to some like back road areas Boyd's Creek I'm gonna show you where the high school is um, so yeah see more down this hill over there you can't really see it but that's where I get my car wash behind this Dollar Tree it's a pretty good car wash back there shout out to the ultimate I think it's ultimate ultimate shine there we go so this is traffic light number three and in my mind on Chapman it's like really these four or five traffic lights um, but you're about to see these awesome mountain views at the top of this look at this this is why they say great mountain views because literally right in front of us you have the Smoky Mountains and it's so good there's my gym over there on the right nice brand new which I was so happy to get it not brand new I guess it's been like here a year and a half now um, so yeah I mean this like you know basic like doctor's offices child care um, uh, occasional dominoes and fast food I mean that's kind of what is here um, nothing that's like you know like I said no target no Ulta etc but I mean the views are they are pretty pretty awesome look Maribel you can turn there to go to Maribel um, that's 411 you could look that up on your map 411 and Chapman Highway and that will take you to Maribel if we go right if we go left here again that takes us to the Boyd's Creek area some more of Seymour and um, you know towards Sevierville another one of my favorite places where I spend quite a bit of my time this is the First Baptist Church but what's cool is like there's obviously playgrounds there is soccer fields but there is a 0.8 mile loop like running track walking track whatever and as you can probably see behind me it's like gorgeous mountain views it is it's like got asphalt so it's paved so you can kind of see it right here um, but it's definitely gorgeous I mean the views are literally insane um, and so that's actually where I spend like if I'm just hanging out or I want to go to the park But I don't want to drive all the way to like Lakeshore or West Knox then I will come here and it's just It's not too hilly. It's a nice area, but then you have like awesome mountain views. So shout out to First Baptist for hosting this awesome um, Track, but they're also oh, I forgot to tell you also like in on the weekends They have a farmers market that is on this side of the parking lot so you can get like vegetables homemade stuff soaps candles whatever um in the farmer's market so that's pretty cool too but um so first have just see more i will say definitely like contributor to the community just in terms of like hosting this park maintaining this park um and like i said like there'll be soccer games soccer leagues here back over there um so it's really cool it might be one of my favorite things about seymour actually besides location like i said the location is great but this is an awesome park so this is the parking lot I was telling you where they have like a farmer's market here in the church parking lot. Saturday mornings, it's really nice. Tractor supply there to the left. In case you need anything, any supplies for your tractor. Just kidding, that was like. So this light is, although this is not technically the end of Seymour, to me this is like the end. Like we've seen everything there is to see, especially on the main drag. I'm gonna show you some like newer construction neighborhoods. But I mean, to me, when you hit this road, you're done. Now, I would say that, well, actually residentially, like in terms of houses, like you have 
a mix like that's a gorgeous new construction this is an older more established neighborhood over here um, so you have a mix of all kinds of stuff and then I'll take you into this one up here on the left as you can see so this neighborhood is called Breakridge this is a newer neighborhood these are like 2018 builds and newer and in this neighborhood you could expect you know 400,000s and higher um so yeah pretty nice and then again like these houses have awesome you know gorgeous views in the back these guys right here I will say that you know the, these are newer construction but you're you have a bigger like bigger yards here for the most part than like if you went to you know a heart and valley new construction neighborhood All right, now we are turning off of Chapman and we're going on to Boyd's Creek. Uh, if I were to turn left at this light, that would take me straight to Maryville. And if I'm turning this way, this is like taking me towards the high school and like deeper Seymour. I'm headed towards um, like Sevierville, Pigeon Forge area if I were to go this way. Now I could obviously take Chapman Highway all the way straight into downtowns. Severeville, but this is taking me to Winfield Dunny Park. What Winfield Dunny Winfield Park, the Parkway basically um, that connects 407 exit 407 to Severeville Pigeon Forge. So um, now you can see that here, as far as real estate, these are you know older homes, 1970s basement ranchers, split foyers, etc and you kind of just have a diversity of stuff. Now, what you can also notice is like the yards are huge. Um, and you know, you have like, there's a random real estate office. You have churches here. And actually this place right here, 434 Coffee, this is a drive-in coffee place, which I've actually not been able to try yet. But word on the street is it is so good. So anyhow, um, that is pretty cool, I think. And then again, you've got mountains over here. So this is just like another major Seymour Road, Boyd's Creek. And Boyd's Creek, like I said, will connect you from Seymour to, uh, we are coming up on a school zone. So over here to the left, that is uh, the high school. This is like actually Boys and Girls Club. And then just behind that is the high school. And then the elementary school is over here to the right, back over here. So just so you can see school traffic. So it's 2.52 on a Tuesday afternoon. And we see um, like the buses are letting out. You can kind of see them right over there from the primary school. And then here's another entrance to the high school. I've gone around the other way before. See more school traffic. You got cars over here picking up their children. Um, supposedly that Kiko's Mexican food is supposed to be great. I've not tried it, but supposedly it's supposed to be really good. Um, so yeah, more residential back here at this point. Like we're through the main parts. There's a tent. There is a pizza place up here that is pretty good. They have wings. Um, Tennessee pizza company. I think is the name of it. Is that, is that right? Tennessee? Yeah. Golly. I'm so good. Um, and like there was a boutique there. It closed. So, you know, not like tons of shopping. That's not Seymour's strong suit. So we are continuing down Boyd's Creek. You can see that there is a golf course here. Nothing too fancy. Creekhead, I believe is the name. Yeah, oh, Creekside, I'm wrong. Creekside Plantation. Um, and, you know, basically what we're seeing here is 
just all residential at this point. We're seeing bare yards, we're seeing custom homes. There are pockets of some newer construction, like this thing, this guy to the, to the uh, right. Those are ranch homes, and um, but there's not like a ton of them, right? There's just, and then across the street, look at this monstrosity. So it's just like random kind of stuff, random houses. I'm going to show you, uh, you know, one of the more like popular neighborhoods, and you can get insane views, but also all the streets are state names, which I think is kind of funny. So, and then also like you're seeing, you know, stuff in the 300,000s over here. These are split foyers, high twos, m up to mid threes over here. Um, and then again, you see giant yards. And then you have this random historic house. Obviously, like when that was built, none of this was here. All right. This is Majestic Meadows. And you have everything from like brand new to late 90s builds. Now, Majestic Meadows, all the streets are state names. And these are all custom built homes. Um, none of these are like spec houses by a specific builder. And you can expect to be in here for 500 and higher. Let's see what this one is listed at. Let's check it out. So this house is currently listed in Majestic Meadows. It is under contract, but it's an example of like a typical what you might find in here. It's 3,600 square feet, basement rancher, custom home. Again, listed at 749 and it is under contract. So this is pretty like typical of what you're gonna see. That price is uh, probably driven by the square footage. It's a pretty big house, but like all these houses in here, I mean, they're all nice, gonna have great mountain views and they're all custom builds. So let us continue through Majestic Meadows because um, I want to just kind of give you an idea of like what you can see here. I mean, that's obviously a newer one. Um, I mean, there are some like gorgeous houses in here, um, but I would say all oversized, all large, many acres sorry many lots that have like an acre lot or definitely a lot of stuff that has you know a point like a half an acre or whatever so um you know just just a combination and there are some ranch homes in here but you know this is a super nice well-liked neighborhood and then if you look over to the left you can see the mountains i'm talking about there so just really nice views just really nice properties overall. So this is Maple Ridge, just another example of a Seymour neighborhood um, and just what you can expect in Seymour. So for the most part, what we're seeing is, you know, bigger yards more space and um actually we've seen quite a bit of flat yards even though like i would never kind of think of seymour as like flat yard places just because like we are essentially in the base of the mountains but you know there's not a ton of cookie cutter real estate i will say that there are some new construction neighborhoods hood maybe that has you know cookie cutter but for the most part nothing is really cookie cutter and you've got a big yard so if you're looking for like space but you're not too far from downtown and you don't mind to be you know probably the closest target is Maryville probably I know I keep talking about target but that's just what I'm obsessed with so anyways see more there you go this is meadow view acres just another see more neighborhood again big yards nothing so much cookie cutter now these are all basement ranchers here to the to the uh, right and then you have some ranch homes um, but again big yards and then you know just they're kind of just all across the board in terms of like what you could expect um, like there's a ranch typical basement rancher and then just you know really anything so Porterfield Gap Road, this is where we're turning now. If we keep going straight, we're going back towards Seymour. 
but this is kind of another back road see more back road if you will and again you can tell like just the houses are kind of just you know you got super nice custom builds big yards and then you have just like wide open spaces and so uh, we're seeing here that most of these you know pretty much all custom again nothing cookie cutter Shout out to my friend Heidi. This is her boutique right here. Hi girl, hi. The turquoise silo. So you just see, I mean now we're like deep Seymour, so now we're not deep Seymour, but we're about five minutes from like Chapman Highway. And now you can see that this is definitely way more rural, way more like land, etc. But, you know, we're not in, like, a town. So that's, you know, what some people do really like about Seymour is that we are so close to downtown Knoxville um, and to Veerable Pigeon Forge area, but we're not, you know, this is definitely, like, one-off houses, bigger yards, more land, and kind of really just, like, more freedom to kind of do what you want. Like, these aren't restricted areas you can I mean it's really like what you want you can do um, so that's why a lot of people really like Seymour okay so we have just kind of looped around from Boyd's Creek Boyd's Creek Porterfield Gap and then we are about to be back heading towards Chapman Highway but I will say this is like another road that will take us back to Boyd's Creek right now we are headed towards Chapman Highway again um, and if you look very closely back in those hills you'll see luxury houses with like crazy mountain views back in there and then you also see like farmland so like I said just the diversity of stuff in terms of residential but it is primarily residential it's not like there's big industry here it's not like you know there's big shopping restaurants boutiques stuff like that this is really more about location and proximity to Knoxville and Sevierville, like to me, again, like I keep saying, and then also you've got mountain views. And so you can also find housing here from a wide range. We saw the one for 750. You could find a, you know, a ranch home or, you know, high twos, depending on size, low threes, depending on exactly what it is. And so just, you know, a diversity of options when it comes to housing and then we're going to see you know uh new construction that's listed at 1.2 so they're kind of just all over the place which means you have options right back essentially where we started over there across the street is where i was telling you welcome to seymour blunt county severe county line no one knows so yeah this is Burnett Station. If we were to follow this, this would take us all the way essentially to, well, it takes us to 411, but we could kind of take some cutoffs and head to Marable. So this is just another kind of cut through major road. This road will also take us to Townsend, which again, that's what makes Seymour so appealing is the location is just, you know, literally like if you want to get to the mountains, if you want to get to downtown Knoxville, you can do all those things. So again, you see like big yards, custom builds, and then you see like random other houses. Okay, so we are in a super cool neighborhood called Simmons View, which obviously the views, um, but this is an example of a new construction house. This house is listed at 1.2 million, but it is like high end, top of the top of the line, everything. Look at this kitchen. 
I mean, it's gorgeous. Huge island, everything. I mean, it's totally awesome. Look at those views. I mean, that's what Seymour is known for. We are known for great people and even better views, or maybe great views and even better people. I don't know, but look at this house. I mean, it is freaking beautiful. And actually what's interesting about every house here, they all have main level masters. However, this one, has a master on the upstairs floor because obviously the views are insane. But to compensate for that, this right here is an elevator. So super cool house. You can find stuff like this in Seymour, super luxury, super high end, but what you cannot find elsewhere are views like this. So, I mean, just imagine this is in the master bedroom and the views are insane. There's a little peek at the bathroom. Oh, so good. So that is a look at an example of some luxury real estate in the Seymour area. So this is for 11. If we keep going straight here, we will go towards it. Maryville, but we're actually going to turn in Maryville, Wallen, Townsend. We're about 20 minutes or less from that. We're going to turn back onto Burnett Station and head back towards Seymour. This is the Ivy event venue. It's super cool space that they do weddings and we have a little barn out there that they've um, added. It's cool. So yeah, we are heading back towards Chapman Highway. And this is coming up on our right after this house. You're going to start to be able to see it. But there is a newer elementary school. It's called Prospect. I think it's Prospect. We're going to know in like 30 seconds. Um, but all of this is Blount County, like where we are now. We crossed over to Blount County probably about maybe a mile ago, half a mile ago. Um, but this school, while it is in Seymour, it is a Blount County school while every other school that you see like public is yeah prospect elementary there it is that's blunt county school and people on this part of seymour are zoned heritage high school um so yeah this is back in blunt county side of seymour here okay so this is just another example of diversity in real estate, big yards. Here's an example of a house that's currently listed. It is pending and it's 250. So 254, I think is where it was listed at. 1600 square feet, single level. It has had like a garage added, but I mean, the yard is awesome. It's well taken care of. It's super cute. Check out the pictures. But so you have a wide range of prices and options when it comes to Seymour. Now I will say like this, and this house is literally like that's Chapman Highway. So. Um, you've got options for days, big yards and views. So just another example of a Seymour, Seymour neighborhood. These are like 70s ranchers for the most part. Um, maybe a couple 80s. Some of them have been updated like the outsides or whatever. But um, I mean, you just have a diversity of all kinds of real estate options i wouldn't say a ton of new construction but um you do have pockets a lot more just like older homes larger yards more established stuff actual trees which is nice and this is interesting because this house they're actually building on this lot which is kind of interesting looks super nice though looks real nice so yeah there you have it. It looks like they're actually staying in the RV while they built, which is cool. Okay, as a side note about the schools. So I somehow totally put that video in slow-mo. What I was saying is that primarily the Seymour schools, so like Seymour High, Seymour Primary, et cetera, those are severe county schools. There is one Blunt County school, it's Prospect Elementary, and it's like at the far edge. But primarily the schools that you're gonna see public are severe, there is King's Academy, it's a private school. But anyways, that's what I was saying. Well, what did you think? Is Seymour the place for you? So key takeaways, diversity of real estate, but the real estate here has, in Seymour, I should say I'm sitting here in Seymour, has big yards, 
um, lots of diversity in terms of actual building. Now it is all traditional. It's not like you're going to see like modern contemporary stuff. Um, and then every price point, we saw something for 250,000 and we also saw something for 1.2 million, but we saw great views. And my big beef about Seymour is there's nothing to do. So if you're wanting to do something or shop at a target or, um, go to the whole foods, you're going to drive. So that being said, it is super convenient in terms of downtown, uh, Pigeon Forge, water, it's close to water, 20 minutes to Tennessee River, Tennessee, 20 minutes to Douglas Lake. So it has some cool things. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you on the next video.